Welcome to this new video and in this new video, it's a quick and short one, I want to show you the brand new paddle mail that just landed in Huawei's app gallery and that tries to be a competitor to Google Mail or Apple Mail or Yahoo Mail or any other mail provider that you can imagine. So let's get started. So after you installed Petal Mail, when you open it, it will greet you with this welcome screen. You click on next, you click on agree. And after this, it usually asks for what should be your Petal Mail email address. As I did this already, I don't get asked here and I'm just thrown into my account directly. What it is using for authentication is the Huawei ID. So if you don't have a Huawei ID yet, you go into your settings and then Huawei ID and there you have your settings and your Huawei ID. It's using the Huawei ID as authentication and will create under this Huawei ID your Petal Mail account. And you can also use Petal Mail on the web if you go to petalmail.com. The problem with petalmail.com is currently it is not working for me. It says on the verification, if I want to verify myself with the Huawei account, that the servers are currently under high pressure. So when I go into petalmail, it looks like every other email client. I'm running it here on my MatePad 11 currently. So what you can see is here first the welcome mail. In this case, it's in German because my uh, account, my Huawei account is in German. If you click on this, you can see that we have rich text support. Of course, we have the option to reply at the bottom. We can forward stuff and we can delete emails. As well as we can see some details here. And as you can see here, my Petal Mail address. So if you want to write something to me regarding Huawei, for example, you can do, the, do so. And you can see a warm welcome message here. I can, of course, swipe through my emails. So I get to another email, which is now an email with an attachment, as you can see here. It's an, a PNG attachment. And I can click on this and say, OK, I want to save it. Allow uh, for saving. It's downloading here now and then opening up the picture. In this case, it's just a uh, thumbnail that I used for YouTube. I can go back and uh, I want to go back to Petal Mail. And I can see here, of course, the email itself. I have the reply option, a forward option, a delete option, and more options. I deleted <laughs> by by default. Uh, uh, it will not delete it, of course. I just clicked on the delete button for showing you. But uh, this is how it deletes stuff. Uh, let's go into more and we can see block and mark as spam is also in here. So it has the capability to also filter out spam emails, which is pretty nice, I think. And of course you can also, I think I didn't saw it here on the email itself, but you can go out here and then you have a little star here where you can um, mark an email as important. So let me mark this as an important email. I can archive this email which will basically remove it from here, or I can mark it as unread if I want to, or if I archive it, it's gone, successfully archived, then I have to go in here and can then see my start emails, as you can see here. I have a draft that I have uh, saved eventually. Uh, sent, I can go to the archive where I can see my test mail that I put in the archive. I can go into trash where I can see the de deleted email. And here emails in trash will be permanently deleted after 30 days. So here I have the possibility to go in here, see the email again, and I can restore the email if I want to. So this is this happens if you by accident like me deleted something. Of course, you have always a search and you have, of course, a cleanup uh, function that, which will clean up the trash. And then we have like a spam folder if by accident something um, gets into your spam folder. When we click on the archive, of course, we have like archived emails like this one here uh, that we can archive for later viewing. And we have our inbox which is of course searchable. And you can see also that it shows attachments. In this case, this email has an attachment, so it's showing this as well. So these are the options uh, of the standard email client. We can go into the settings to see like a block list. So if we have block persons here, block emails, they will appear here. 
we are um, able to experience the enhancement so we are part helping improving the user experiences for this petal maps by default because when we take a look at the about window it is version 1.00301 beta so it's a beta version that arrived on the uh, huawei app gallery we can disable petal mail if we don't like it I don't know how to enable it again, but it is uh, as an option here. And we can check for updates here for, for future uh, yeah, delivery of stuff. Of course, we also have the write email option where we have the possibility to write an email. We can also have a CC and BCC here. We can, of course, uh, if we go to another field, you can see the plus button and we have the possibility to search for contacts in this case it is not uh, it would show you all the contact um, contacts that you have on your uh, device in this case it's only showing my contacts uh, because I don't have any other contacts just for uh, demonstration purposes uh, when it comes to subject I can type something in here I have the possibility to also attach files and folders if I want to as you can see here and uh, enter my message here and when it comes to entering messages i don't see a rich text option like uh, formatting options so uh, bold text can i make it bold somehow yes i can make it bold by pressing ctrl b on my keyboard right now but when it comes to uh, italic text for example can i change it somehow via menu i don't see a menu here so um, what you see at the bottom here is the uh, Microsoft Swift key for my MatePad 11 in the um, physical keyboard mode. So let me go out of this and let me make it italic. So I can use, um, there was a menu. I can use certain things here. I don't have the option to format every anything here currently but i can use keyboard shortcuts like Control b for bold uh, Control i for italic and underline i think Control u yes it's underlined so i have the possibility for some rich text as well uh, to write here and what i don't see is a way to save this as a draft yet maybe if i go i'll try to go out of here I can save it to drafts yeah so there's no manual saving to draft to so try to get out of here you can save it to draft and then it will be saved under drafts and then under drafts we have a new uh, draft with no recipient and yeah it has like the formatting so what i want to try out now because i have the time is uh, i deleted it out of drafts also interesting is uh, maybe create a new email and detach the physical keyboard and now go in here now i have my normal keyboard and uh, do i have anything else here to compose to test out to manipulate the look of the text i don't think i have such option here there are some options here for the keyboard itself that i have probably i can also add some uh some 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 emojis like this yes emojis work do gifs work just like this happy gif here no they just um, pull in a random url so this is not working so there is still some limits it's an early beta version but for those who waited because i got like texted uh, almost every day about the uh, new petal mail when it is available now it is available and you can try it out you can write down in the comment section what are your experiences what should huawei improve on the petal mail app and i'm also very curious if you were able to log in via the web browser to see if there are some new other features available in the web ui as well uh, that's everything for this short little video i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye